Johnson & Johnson is the world's leading provider of health care products and services with 168 independent operating companies. We have achieved worldwide brand leadership in a broad range of health care categories, including sanitary protection, J&J's largest global business. Responsibilities for managing this category reside within the Personal Products Company, or PPC. We take you now inside the world of PPC. Rob Robertson. I have a sampling meeting at 10, then I've set lunch aside with the other APDs. We're going to have lunch together today. Hi Jeff, this is Joe Stavnik. I wanted to come down to ask you some questions about the uh, advertising budget for 1993. It's very action oriented, it's very busy, it's for people who like doing eight different things at once and running around all day and, and accomplishing them. Hey! Hi! Okay, you guys ready to talk big business? We're ready to talk big business. All right. We are ready to do the marketing plan. Copy for you. I got my copy. You got your copy. I got handouts for you, though. Okay. Um, this morning, I have a meeting with Beth Woodlight, the group product director for internal sanitary protection, and we're going to be going through our 1994 marketing plan. Next, we've got our business objectives. Just yeah. added as a separate bullet point. I work with all of the functions all of the time. Um, finance, um, the packaging design people, the advertising agency, manufacturing, we're all like one team. What's missing in the category and what we saw as a great um, opportunity is to go in and really create a positive image around these products and make people more excited about them. Are you taking chances with your feminine protection? Introducing a floor But what I'm saying is, is this guy the guy that you need to see? When you walk up to the shelf, you want to see the personal, mm -hmm. personal protection guide right away and be able to make that decision. I mean, I think it's a great product. I mean, I really, I think it um, adds a lot of benefit. It really, you know, has changed the lives of women. Plans? Actually, we went um, wine tasting two weekends ago. We went through northwestern New Jersey. We went up to um, Hackettstown, and actually, we started down near Flemington and worked our way up Route 30 and went to. Oh, that's how I did this. Four four wine. Wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really fun. It was in, and we drove in on the Princeton Heights Town Road, okay. and there's a place to park right there. Yeah, and you can go for miles. You know, what's that's really fun around here too is um, rafting. There's like a number of places to wrap. Have you? On the Del Water Gap. Uh huh. Which yeah. I think is in New Jersey. Actually, I was a bit of an entrepreneur when I was young. Um, I would have never guessed I'd be in, end up in marketing, but um, as I kind of went through life, I think I've found what I really like. And the reason is because it's just like running my own business. Um, and the other thing I like about it is you relating directly to consumers. PPC tends to do a lot of print advertising because this category is one where print makes a lot of sense to be in. This is this month's Sassy, and then this is our print ad. So this is the ad that we developed to talk to teens. We have a wonderful fitness center called Live for Life. Um, I work out pretty much every day. New Jersey is really a great place for, for two career families. There's a lot going on. What I was really looking for was a classic brand management experience. Um, I wanted an opportunity to be very entrepreneurial and really um, have a lot of room to be innovative, to be real aggressive, and to really have my ideas make an impact. And, you know, PPC has really been that way. <laughs> this is really strange. 
strange. We've been going through our business review and our planning process, and as you can tell, I have not gotten to my inbox in a little bit. Once I saw it in action, look at that. Smell. Ah. That's known as an end benefit shop. Ah. And people started with water guns, and I mean every single person had a water gun. Every single person was spraying everyone else. We had the president, we had the VP of marketing, <laughs> the VP of sales. Everyone was squirting everybody with water. It was just a riot. So how's your house coming along? It's coming along. Yeah? Coming along, we banged out a big wall today. So that room in the back, mm -hmm. this used to be two small, about three small rooms. Right. Now it's one big room. This is Princeton, right downtown, so it's a older building right in the middle of town and uh, we just wanted to get an old place and fix it up and you know see what we could do. Princeton's really a walker's town. You can walk from one location to another very easily. This is known as the kiosk right in Palmer Square. This is where I get my paper in the morning. I tend to go for the Wall Street Journal. I'm moving back into Manhattan tomorrow because I, I actually really miss it a lot. Uh, most of my friends still live in the city. Um, there's so much more to do in New York than there is anywhere else in the country. And I just find that the whole city atmosphere is really exciting. Depending on what kind of a lifestyle you want, you, there's a place for you. And I like Manhattan because there's a lot to do and I have a blast here. I really, I really have a good time. I'm close to PPC, I'm about 45 minutes away. You just drive right through the tunnel and get on the turnpike, so it's a very easy commute. Take a look around, it's, you know, first time I came here, I was like, wow, you know, what is this place? It's very comfortable, you know, it's, very, it's a very pleasant place to come to every day and work.